We knew that the end of Ultimate's second PGR season was coming soon, but now we've got a concrete date, December 15th, which means that there's only a month left for players to make their final push to obtain that ranking they think they deserve. But whether you're a fringe top 100 player or a casual Ultimate fan, it's useful to know what PGR events we have left for the season so you can either start booking your flight or freeing up your weekend to make sure you don't miss a single set. And if you're looking for some guidance on how to step up your Ultimate game, check out ProGuides.com for on-demand coaching to get you prepared to compete at the next major. Our new Pro Pass grants you free passes to our Play With Pros platform, along with a plethora of exclusive content all posted daily. Make sure you don't miss our new Pro course with MK Leo himself, a new one with ESAM, as well as others coming soon. The first of this weekend's upcoming events is the Vienna Challengers Arena, a C-tier event that will be taking place from November 23rd to 24th. The exciting thing to be looking out for besides seeing some unknown European talent get their well-deserved time in the spotlight is MK Leo's appearance at this event. He doesn't look like he's 100% confirmed within the bracket page on Smash GG, as he's registered for the event, but not for Ultimate Singles. But if we see him lock in for VCA, there is a reasonable chance we might see some other European players sign up as well to get their chance to take a game off of Ultimate's best player. The only other big name that signed up as of now is Mr. R, so we'll most likely be seeing either him or Leo walk away as the victor in Vienna. The other event this upcoming weekend is the Players Ball Invitational in New York, which is a one-day event taking place just on November 23rd. With it being an invitational, it should be no surprise that the event is a mid-B tier on the PGR rating system. The event is stacked with players like the Buzz, Tweak, Leon, Wishes, Mr. E, Rivers, and Suarez in attendance. Invitationals generally like to run formats outside of the traditional double elimination bracket, but this 28 attendee event is sticking to the script with the only difference from normal being that the top four seeds get a first round buy. So although Vienna Challengers Arena looks looks exciting, if you've only got time for one ultimate tournament this weekend, the player's ball is the clear choice because nearly every set here may have PGR implications. We then go back to Europe to briefly highlight the next weekend's big event, SEL Clash, a mid-C tier event taking place in France. The tournament is a three-day event starting November 30th and finishing up on the first day of December. We haven't gotten the word yet about any big names showing up at the event, but with a 1500 euro pop bonus, you shouldn't be surprised if Gluttony, Flo, or any of the other top French talent announces that they'll be showing up in the weeks to come. And even if they don't, the event is projected to be huge without them, with 258 players signed up for Ultimate Singles as of the creation of this video. That same weekend, we have a similar kind of event going on in Mexico as well, Bitmaster number 8. It's already going to be a mid-B tier event without having any notable names in attendance because it hit its entrant cap of 256 players weeks before the event is slated to happen. And the region now has two top 10 players in the form of MK Leo and Meister, so with how fertile the ground for growing top talent Mexico looks to be, we may see the next Mexican prodigy winning this event. But by far the biggest event that we've got left this year is 2GG Congo Saga, which is happening the weekend before the season ends, December 7th to 8th. We're still weeks out from the event that's already classified as a low S-tiered event with a value right above Glitch 7 and below Main Stage, but there's a very real possibility that we could see it climb up even further. The event has a nuts 600 entrance already ready for Ultimate Singles, which makes a lot of sense with how much they're offering to attendees. The event in La Mirada, California is going to have a 24-hour venue, 100-plus setups, and free amateur bracket, so if you live anywhere close to this event and are an Ultimate fan, you'd be a fool to not go register for the event right now. But circling back to PGR talk, if you thought DreamHack had a lot of talented players, just you wait. MK Leo will be here looking to add another trophy to his cluttered case, and even if he does place lower than second for the first time this season, he still got number one on lock for sure. Tweak will hopefully have shaken off his underwhelming last place finish at Summit and show us why he was in the conversation of being Ultimate's second best early in the game's life cycle. Sam Sora, Nairo, and Gluttony will all be looking to sneak their way to a first place finish to end off their year with a bang. T could even do it too, with the right bracket. Void will be looking to continue with his redemption arc as a Pichu and Sheik dual main. Shutone, Light, Cosmos, Rivers, Kameme, and Raito are all going to be here too. I could go on and on with players and storylines, and you'll probably be seeing a preview video here from us at Pro Guides when the event is just around the corner. So Congo Saga is a must watch for any Smash Ultimate fans, so be sure to schedule off work that weekend now while it's still on your mind. And that about does it for the big PGR events left for this season of Smash Ultimate. Let us know in the comments which of these events you're the most excited for, as well as if you're going to be in attendance at any of these tournaments. Also make sure to subscribe to Pro Guides and put those notifications on to make sure you don't miss out on any content on the competitive 
of Ultimate seen in the future.